Okay, so I'm just going to have a quick look inside this 80 synth part that we just put in. Um, I'm going to widen it out slightly because it's a wee bit um, too in the middle of the mix. So I'm going to bring the volume back as well. We'll just loop wrap it round. I'm going to pan the first voice to the left and the second to the right. That'll just fill that whole sound out. And I'm also going to push the resonance. I'm going to push the drive. So the the harshness from the resonance is sort of over overridden by the drive control. And I'm going to send some of this to the mid return track. Okay, so what we're going to do now is create a rising type effect and again inside of Silent. You can feel free to grab your own risers or whatever. Um, it's just going to be very quickly, um, like a, a string kind of rise. So initialize the preset and I'm going to drop in saw wave. Going to give it eight voices. Going to detune. And I'm also going to push this up a couple of octaves. And I'm going to go down here initially. I'm going to set the filter type to low pass. Bring the cutoff down. I'm going to turn the resonance up. And then I'm going to go down to the mod envelope. And I'm going to go to the cutoff, AB, turn it up. And I'm going to increase the attack so that it's really long. So you can hear it coming in now. I'm going to pan this one hard to the left and I'm going to pan this next one hard to the right. And again, another saw. I'm going to give it one voice this time. I'm going to put this up by one octave. Okay, and then I'm going to go to part B, and I'm going to this time bring in a triangle. I'm going to give this a few voices, detune them. I need to turn the filter on, A, B, cut off down. I'll bring the cut off up slightly so that you could hear it from the get go. The resonance also. It's going to bring the volume of all of these back because they're just a wee bit loud at the minute. Go to part B, bring the triangle back. Going to bring it really low. And then the final one I'm going to put in is another saw wave. Going to give this one a few voices. Detune. I'm going to move this one out of phase with the other saw wave that we've got and push it up an octave. And then I'm going to turn the warm drive control on and I'm going to turn a few of these effects on. So I'm going to try the, the chorus, the reverb and the compressor. out of here and I'm going to send some of this to the, re the return tracks that we've got. So B, I'm going to send some, which is our reverb, and I'm going to send some to our mid as well.
and not forgetting, of course, our pentatonic scale. And changing our bass to D sharp. So I need to bring the volume back on this because it's really quite loud. The first time this is going to come in at bar 17 and go right the way to bar 21. Also, I'm going to drop in a high pass filter for this just to remove any of the low end. So, if we go to our audio effects, auto filter, drop that in, high pass. Okay, so I've just dropped them in at sort of main points of the tune. So we've got it here at 29 as we come into this part where the stabs come in, and then that big build up before the drop at 41, and then again at 45 where we just um, repeat, have a repetition of our, our whole loop, and again right at the end here, bar 53. And this is pretty much the end of the tune there. So I'm just going to delete everything that's after that. And I'm just going to copy over just some stuff to come out at the end of our track here. So um, we're just going to want the, the kick and the, the part that we had at the very start of our track. So this dropping synth part. So we're going to copy it over, paste it there. So I'm, just, I'm actually just going to copy that whole loop over. So just paste all that over. So we need the bass line in there still. So we just copy it in. And we'll make sure to put the crash in there at the very first bar. And then at bar 65, we'll bring back in this ARP synth. So we can just bring the volume of that right up. And we'll 
we'll get rid of the second arpeggiator. And we'll let our bass line play out. Now if we just duplicate that. Feel free to end this whatever way you want. Um, I'm just going to drop the bass line out there, 73, and the arp I'll just let it play, and of course the tambourine, and that'll just fizzle out there. Okay, so in the next tutorial, um, I'm going to bring in some of the fills and some of the effects.